Welcome to the glass studio. I am working on this pretty awesome lamp today. You can see that it's missing glass in between here. This is um, an antique lantern and uh, it's not for outdoor use because this is wood. It's been painted wood and you can see the awesome carving in there. Down here on the base you can see that it's being that it's been painted so this is pretty cool. So I have been asked to put glass in those little parts. So piece of cake, right? So we've got a couple of, of these lamps. And so I've been kind of playing around with this one. What I did first was I made a template and I just put it in one of these, put the template right in there, fit perfectly, piece of cake. I am ready to roll. So I took this template and cut some pieces, uh, well, one, one at a time, and cut the piece of glass and then took it to the lamp and fitted in one of these spots. And it didn't fit. So I took it out and I ground a little bit on each side and I put it in and took it out and put it in like 4,000 times. <laughs> so finally I got one to fit. And so I thought, okay, I know this one little piece is not going to fit in each one of these spaces. And I was so frustrated. And so I thought, okay, why isn't it fitting? Well, then I looked down in here and these parts in here were not straight at all. And if it, you know, if I had words with the uh, builder of this fine lamp, I would give him a ruler and some sandpaper for Christmas. So each one, very nicely, I made a different piece of glass for each one. And I think this is number five, so okay. Put this in here, you know, and if you don't get it just right. Oh, another thing. So the sides, the sides are straight, that's great, but the top is curved. Okay, my glass isn't curved, it's a straight piece of glass. And the bottom is also curved. So I just have to say, okay, it's going to be siliconed in, so we'll silicone it in maybe at the top two corners, the bottom two corners, and then we can go up and down the sides. But oh my goodness, I was getting so frustrated while trying to put each of these in because they were all so different. And so a little bit of tears and okay, I had to come over here for a minute and I had to, you know, Okay, okay, I can do another one. I'm fine, everything's fine. Back to work. So then, if all else fails, you bring in the big guns. Okay, so. It's the top and bottom that's not fitting. Yeah, the top and the bottom just kind of have to sit on a on a corner since they don't bend. This is too tight. All right. I'll show you where I've spent most of my time <laughs> at the grinder, ladies and gentlemen, at the grinder. I'm sorry, I need a break. Ah. Ah. Ah.
This is what you do to relax, is eat okay. candy? Okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm ready to go back to work. It's all good. A little bit of Christmas candy is okay. Because then you feel better and you can go back to work grinding those, I mean, grinding those pieces of glass. <laughs> It's very tricky getting the whole silicone gun inside the lamp. But David is a master after all. Oh, this is really good experience for me because I've been trying not to swear lately. <laughs> see it. So here we are trying to fit that number five in its spot. Okay, we're going to let that dry just like that for a while. And then, yeah, then I think what we'll do, there's there's a little bit of a gap in there, and I think what we'll okay, do... Okay, I've been grinding, I've been trying to get those to fit, and I'm so frustrated, so I'm going to see you in about half an hour, okay? Well, it was really quite an experience getting those pieces to fit. But look how good they look now. I do wonder if Jeannie was a little overdramatic in the fact that, uh, that she had gotten so frustrated fitting and then refitting and then refitting. Fortunately, the second lamp went better than the first. Hope to see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.